Okay, Lee. Yeah. Hi everybody, I'm Sean from Pendle Narrowboats. Just to uh, let you know, we've just had our whole delivery. This is the very first thing that we do. We'll put the, all the uh, ballast down and then start paddling all that. But this is a picture, this is a video of how they come to us from the very beginning. Uh, so, basically, now what we've done is we've got all the ballast in ready uh, to start laying the underfloor heating. So, on with the next job, the underfloor heating. We just had um, some nice weather, so we thought we'd have a break from putting four down, the underfloor heating, and put tunnel up. So we've just got tunnel up, and we're now going to carry on with underfloor heating. Okay, so we've now done the underfloor heating. We've got all the floor down, and we've got the studding up ready to be spray form insulated. So that's the next step, and then uh, we'll cut it all back, and off we go. Okay, so we've had it all spray formed and we're going to uh, cut all back now, back to the timbers. Then we put some uh, uh, DPC on to stop the moisture coming through uh, onto the timbers. So that's the next step. So we've done all the uh, part work now. So this is 22 mil part for the uh, heating, and the 15 mil part for the hot water, and 15 for the cold water. And we put all wires in now for the 12 volt on the 240 volt. Um, the next stage for us is to start panelling it all out, um, uh, cut it out for the sockets, the light switches, etc. etc. So that's the next stage. So the ball's coming on nicely. Uh, we started panelling the bottom as you can see there. Uh, we started going onto the walls, wires all in, the parts are all in, all spray form nice, uh, all looking good. I'll show you some of the electrics in the electric cupboard, what, uh, what goes on in there. So here we are, we've got the nest system which is there, the fuse for the pump which is there, uh, what's that one, can't remember, <laughs> plug sockets, uh, immersion heater switch, inverter charger switch, they're going to be the dials for the toilet, the diesel and the water. That's a consumer unit for your 240 volt power and that's going to be for your 12 volt switches. Okay, so that's just a little bit of uh, information for you. So here we have it, the water external started being prepared on the outside, all being filled up, etc. We've ordered the windows, so all looking good. Okay, so we've got it all panelled out now. All, uh, plumbing works are in, all the wires are in, you cut out for the sockets. The next stage for us is to put the bulkheads up and divide each room. 
and start making all the kitchen and the galley and all the seated area. So that's what we'll be doing next. Okay, so we've now got the carcasses in place. This is going to be the, the oven and all. We're going to have the sink here. Uh, we've got another lava unit to put in there. Obviously the steps as well there. Uh, it's almost ready now uh, to put in the, uh, the template for the, uh, for the worktops. So that's the galley. Uh, we're going to have some drawers here, washing machine here, and a fridge there. Sorry, no, fridge there, washing machine here. And this is going to be the galley. So that's where we are at this stage. So here we have the living area. Uh, not difficult to see, however, this is going to be the seating area around here. So we're going to put another bulkhead up here, which is going to have some shelving, a lift up unit for laundry, etc. Uh, this here is going to where the TV is going to be. So this is the living area. So you've got the galley where I've just uh, showed you, and then uh, this is going to be the living area. I'll take you into the bathroom after the living area. So here we're in the bathroom now. Uh, the toilet's going to be a pump out toilet. Uh, the basin is going to be here and they're having a mirror here. You actually notice on the video that there's no windows cut out yet. And that's the reason is, is for when we're spraying, we don't like any overspray to actually come on side of the boat. So we'll cut the windows after uh, out after it's been sprayed. I don't know if you can see on camera, but this is where the shower is. Yeah. And this is all going to be panelled with uh, some like leaf type panelling. Oh, it should be nice. So now we're at the, the bow of the boat, the front of the boat. This is the bedroom. Uh, you can see it, this is the uh, the toilet tank for all the waste. The waste pipe's going to go up out on that side of the gunnel down there, down that side. It's going to have two bedroom units and a flyover type of unit here. And the bed is going to be across here in two sections. So this, this mattress at this point here will lift up onto this here. Now here we've got uh, an ensuite toilet. So this is what the customer wanted. So we've managed to fit in an ensuite toilet. And what's going to happen is with the cassette toilet, we're going to build some steps here where the cassette is going to pull out into the steps um, so, so they can enter the cassette toilet. And that's the bedroom. Okay, so we've now got the templates ready uh, for the worktops to be made. Put the radiators on, so all the first fixed plumbing is done. Um, so once the radiators uh, are off, we can paint behind, get them back on and uh, start filling all up. And uh, I'll let you know when we've done anything else. Okay, so uh, the boat's had two coats of a proxy primer. It's been rubbed down and now it's ready for some colour. This is a Beta 43 engine, good engine and more than powerful enough for the 57 foot narrow boat uh, that we are doing at the moment. The, it will go up rivers, no problem at all, uh, good engine so we'll be fitting this, putting it in its position in the next 10 minutes.
Come here, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're in the main bedroom. Uh, as I said previously, these are the wall units with nice big loads of storage space in these particular two ended wall units and up here uh, for smaller things, socks and undies. Slow folding drawers, this is the bed. Obviously it's gonna fall down to here, so a little walk through. Two big bedside tables, uh, what a customer asked for. Um, and then we've got a nice big window here to work uh, over the top of the bed. If you move forward over here, we've got an arm suite. So this, this here is a cassette toilet whereas the other toilet's a pump park toilet. Now if you wanted this particular reason for an arm suite is if they've got guests in the living room which are sleeping in there they've got their own bathroom and the, our customers here have got their own bathroom. But back to the toilet, the toilet is a because this one's a cassette toilet whereas the other one is a pump out then they wanted two just in case of the uh, canal freezing up in winter and they struggle to empty the uh, the main toilet. So this is just like a, like I say, a reserve toilet and that's what they wanted this for. Okay, so the boat's now been fully sprayed all the way around and Steve, our sprayer, is actually rubbing it all down and I don't know what he does, but he polishes it all up, rubs it all down, polishes it with something, rubs it down again and polishes it with something else. And by the time it's finished, it's like glass. Absolutely fabulous finish. Uh, so I'm really pleased with it so far. Yeah, uh, these are the new windows that uh, we tend to put in a lot of boats now. Uh, they're called thermal brake, uh, double glazed. Uh, they won't get any condensation on the inside and they're like one way type of uh, uh, glass. Uh, however, you do at night time do need some curtains because you can't see in at the night time. But during the day, or you can see on camera, it's just one way. Okay, right, so we've now got the worktops in position. This customer wanted tile worktop, so we've had the edge polished and we've edged it under some plywood. So here we've got the small wall units with slow closers. Uh, there's four on there and two on there. Uh, here we've got the integrated fridge. Uh, obviously the sink. We've got 800 well, which uh, slow closing drawers uh, because if they don't hold with a narrow boat in particular the drawers could slide open unless they're on a uh, slow closing system. Uh, going further back we've got uh, an integrated washing machine um, and that's it for the appliances. So two ring gas hob, uh, double oven um, I'm really pleased with how it's going so far. Good stuff. Uh, so moving forward from the galley, we're now going into the, the living area. So uh, this where the TV is going. Uh, it's just down here at the minute while it's painted. And this is the seating area, uh, which also drops down into a bed. So hence, having I mean, guests, this could turn into this could turn into a bed. Uh, over here we have a beer fridge, which everybody likes. A beer fridge here, uh, just for the beers, it's what they wanted. And a drawer here, slow closing again, for whatever they want to put in it. Uh, at the back of here, we've got a little bit of storage for cushions, etc. is what they asked for. And here is the sound system, which connects to your phone. Um, yeah, and that's that's cracking sound system. Here we've got, she wants a shelving system. We've still got yet to put some rails across there, but we'll do that when it's finished painted. Uh, the speakers are up here, the ventilation. Yeah, I'm uh, very pleased with it so far. Huh. And so now we're in the bathroom, where we've got some funky colors. So this is gonna be yellow, obviously, a mustardy type of color. Right, so this is the toilet, obviously. It's a pump-out toilet with all, all the buttons to press here for whatever you want to do. 
Um, here we've got the sink, the basin. Uh, nice running tap, no slow running water. Two, some granite here and some doors we've made for you. If you could swing round, this is the shower. She wanted like a jungle type of effect. So we've put this panel in, in here with uh, a double shower. Uh, that's pretty much it for the bathroom. And finally, into the bedroom. So I've got mattress here. This one, mattress here, will drop down here. Ball comes down there, which is good. Uh, two big units here, two smaller ones there. Over here, we have uh, an arm suite. Uh, unusual colours, like a pinky colour, as you can see there. Okay, so that is an ensuite, suite, uh, and that one is a cassette toilet. So underneath here, step here, this is where the cassette pulls out. So you don't see like a doorway, so the cassette can pull out there. And that one goes into the bow, bow of the boat. So that's it now for your bedroom. All looking good. So now we're on the outside of the boat, obviously. The boat has just been polished and ready. It needs a good clean before it's ready for delivery. This is uh, the sound writing and it's actually hand sound writing. It's not a, a plastic cover whatever they call them it's all it's all hand actually painted on um, as customers tend to like stuff like that nowadays um, and all this this has all been hand painted ready for a good clean basically all good okay so we've now got to finishing stages with uh, this boat now uh, the customers have been today absolutely love it so that's good news um customers actually gone for like a brownie type of color i don't know the exact name of it but we can actually do any type of color that you that you want any type of worktops this one's uh tile worktops which uh, first time we've done that look it's come out really well so pleased with that uh and that's it really uh in the gala we'll move on to the living room uh, so now we are in uh, the gala living uh, sorry living room uh, we've just had the cushioning done, I if you can see the cushion. Uh, so what happens is, this cushion over here will sit on here and this will form a bed. Uh, we've got the TV here, um, we've got, I don't think this has got Sky TV, usually they have Sky TV. Um, we've got lift down lid here, which one of the cushions sits on, so it forms a full bed. We have a sound system Bluetooth uh, here and some storage space under here for cushions, etc. So that customer has actually asked for uh, like uh, some kind of unit here and these bars that they've asked for are going on here. Um, so that's it for the actual uh, living area. Uh, right, now, so bathroom. It's a walkthrough bathroom into the bedroom area. Customer's gone for like a yellowy colour in the uh, bathroom. We have a mirror. Fancy mirror there, granite for the basin, and in here, if you can walk around there, we have like a leaf jungle effect type of shower, shower panels. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, look forward to making another one.